Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aaron Hall and in today's video we are going to be reading a book. Shocker, I know, because we never read a book on my channel. What even is reading? Somebody tell me in the comments, I need to know, because never heard of it. Just kidding. <laughs> a few days ago I received a DM on Instagram from this author who was asking me if I was interested in reviewing Keep You Forever if they sent me an arc. All I know about this book is that I think it's contemporary romance. If I'm not mixing it up with other books that I was requested to read, it was published on Wattpad and people have been loving it and I need to read it. So far I've only read the prologue but I'm hoping that I will enjoy it and I am very happy to document this journey. Now it is very important for me to support Wattpad authors because if you don't know me, my name is Arden, I write on Wattpad as well, I'm a bookstagrammer, I'm a booktuber obviously, and all my social media links are down below if you want to check me out. You can subscribe to my channel, you can click the notification bell to keep yourself notified because I'm going to be talking more about Wattpad books on my channel as well, so that is exciting. some thoughts. Yesterday I managed to read five chapters. I'm on page 49. I transferred the book on my Kindle and I'm 13% in. So to introduce this story, our main character's parents are either both Indian or just one is. Her parents actually speak Hindi, which is really cool to see that. So she gets shipped off to her cousin and her uncle and her aunt while her parents go on a cruise ship to try to fix their marriage because it's either that or they're gonna get a divorce because they don't get along and it's a very hard transition or very hard situation for our main character. She just has to uproot her life and go to another school for six months, which is sad. Um, anyway, so she leaves and her cousin is a bitch and her aunt and uncle, they love her and her cousin's boyfriend has a best friend who is probably gonna be our main character's love interest. His name is Asher Prince and he's the typical bad boy. He's a dick. Nobody, I mean, I don't like him, but our main character also doesn't like him for now. It's so clear that he's gonna be the focus of the story. So far, all of the characters feel very superficial. I'm not vibing with the writing of the story. It, the pacing is a little bit off. The plot is very cliche. It's very very predictable and since I'm just at the beginning of the story I hope that as the plot progresses that we're gonna get more plot twists unpredictable stuff I'm not vibing with the story as much as I would want to so far but I am willing to keep an open mind and to just keep going hopefully I will not be disappointed and I will end up enjoying the story <laughs> Basically, I'm on page 66. The past few pages have flown by so fast. Like I said, it's a very fast-paced book. Sometimes the pacing can be a little bit too fast, so you can't really keep up because one moment she's at the house, the next she's in school, and it's just what's going on sometimes. I keep forgetting our main character's name, but our main character's friend and only friend at this school her name is Riley. Riley is crashing on Asher so much, which is why her cousin, um, our main character's cousin, doesn't like her because she doesn't want Riley to get hurt, so she is trying to drive her own cousin away. Asher has a girlfriend. She has already been called a bitch, but not by our main character, by 
Riley. I'm interested in seeing the plot twists that this is gonna bring and everything else. I'm currently 66 pages in. The paperback has 366 pages and that is the ebook art that I received from a paperback. I can't wait to continue right now because I really got excited so let's I'm in the mood let's just read it's very cloudy outside and just the perfect weather for reading isn't it <laughs> character's name is Alyssa but they call her Lissa. I don't know why I can't remember that because I used to have a character named the same and had the same nickname but anyway she keeps having this neg negative talk about herself. She has a very negative relationship with herself. She keeps calling herself a nerd. She just doesn't value herself and is insecure and that is very clear in the way this is written and in her internal monologues. This is so repetitive. She asks herself, why am I such a nerd? Like this is a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Embrace it. Be yourself if you are confident in your interests, like I am with books. Maybe other people will start respecting you too. But once you show them that this is something you love but you're embarrassed about, they will see a target and they will target you. So be confident in whatever you're doing. That is the key to life, the key to succeeding. You just have to be confident. And if people don't like it, then they can leave. You don't get to be embarrassed about it if this is something you enjoy. I don't know what this guy sees in her. She is the most, not really basic person, but I feel like she doesn't have any real personality. One moment when she gets to talk to this guy. She's this fierce girl. But when she's talking to herself and he's having these inner monologues, it's like she's not the same person. She's like two different people. I guess what I'm trying to say is that Asher is the guy who brings this side out of her. But at the same time, I'm just like, she doesn't really have a personality I can put my finger on or just say, oh, this is this person. Uh, if I saw something, oh, this is her. You know, she hasn't really found herself yet and it's very apparent in the writing. I don't understand why he's being so nice because he doesn't even know her and she doesn't even know him. I guess it's just wanting to make an impression. But then again, he has a girlfriend, so... A little bit sketchy here, uh, but I get it. I get that you want to keep the tension, you want drama. And so far, it's a very interesting read because I can't wait to see what happens, how things evolve. I can't wait for his girlfriend to find out because that is gonna be drama. I'm 72 pages in, 20% in. Also, I am really loving the Indian representation and the fact that she misses her home. She misses speaking Hindi with her fa family and just her friends speaking it freely, whereas here she's not able to. And I love that it has that aspect to the story that she doesn't just forget about these things that she was used to back when she was home. The last time I checked in I was 13% through and I was like okay I'm not really vibing with the story I'm probably gonna give it two stars but right now I don't know because there's a lot of stuff that can happen and <laughs> I'm at the edge of my seat because I genuinely don't know what's gonna happen. It is a little bit later, actually it's almost nightfall and I'm catching the last bits of light as I am trying to film this bit of the video. Basically I'm 46% in 170 pages on chapter 19 and I've gotten used to the writing style so now that I did it's actually a much faster read. One thing I've noticed when the guy is talking to the girl when Asher is talking to Lissa. He keeps saying her name. Oh, you're so nice, Lissa. But you don't know this, Lissa. But Lissa, this and this and this. Lissa, Lissa, Lissa. He, it's very repetitive. It's kind of driving me crazy because they're supposed to have this heart to heart and this very serious conversation. But her name comes out of his mouth at least 10 times. 
the biggest plot twist just happened. That's why I'm, why I'm in such a good mood. Because this is gonna be a spoiler. No, should I... Basically, something happens. And it's something I didn't expect. It has to do with her cousin's boyfriend. And I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, chapter 18. If you're gonna buy this book and you're gonna read it, chapter 18 is the one to watch out for. Because, <laughs> oh... I don't know how I feel. Actually, I am quite happy because <laughs> this is the spoiler that I need. I mean, this is the thing, the twist that I need. So I'm going to continue, but that's all I wanted to just kind of check in to tell you guys how I'm feeling right now and just continue with the book. I'm 46% in, but it honestly feels like so much has happened. The pacing is so fast and so much happens in such a short amount of time that it feels like you're already at 80% of the book. But I'm at 46, which is quite strange to see. Um, in a way, it does feel like it's dragging a little bit because of that, because I keep expecting to see a higher number, but maybe it's just because I'm a little bit impatient. <laughs> you know, the usual bitchy character, there was no real confrontation so far with the bitchy character and our main character. I hate those confrontations because normally they happen for no reason except that the girl feels threatened and so I mean for a good reason because we all know they're gonna end up together but um yeah I like that there was no no confrontation and that the bitchy character was just pushed to the side because we don't need any cliche uh, scenes anymore. I personally hate confrontations. I like drama when two main characters argue, but I hate confrontations, especially if they're in public. My anxiety gets going, and so I struggle sometimes reading Wattpad books that aren't published because it happens a lot on Wattpad that there are so many awkward moments, confrontations, do you know how much I hate confrontations? I'm gonna tell you. So in Fifty Shades of Grey, when, uh, what's her name? Anna. When Anna fell into Christian, not Dumont, oh my gosh, that's from my book. In Christian Grey's office, when Anna fell into Christian Grey's office the first time they met, when I read that scene, I was so embarrassed for her that I put the book down for a year before restarting it. Now, if that doesn't speak a lot about me, if that, that doesn't say a lot about me, then I don't know what does. Because whenever something awkward happens in any book, I have to put it down or just skip the chapter or just skip a scene because I can't deal. Like, I, I personally cannot deal with that. I'm kind of annoyed with the main character. Um... Basically, these two are so dramatic, so dramatic. They're like, oh, but I can't be with you and make so many useless, boring excuses that don't make any sense. And then the main character is like, like, Asher can't be doing this, not after this and this happened, unless he doesn't want me to be his girlfriend. Why would he? I'm only average looking, painfully boring, and most probably the biggest dork he's met. I am 48% in. Let's just hope I have any brain cells left after, after this. See, I'm already losing my mind, I'm losing my head, and I can't speak anymore, so I'm gonna see you later. <laughs> hey, it's me again, so I changed my mind. You know, apart from the dramatics of this story, it's actually really good. I mean, you just have to look really deep and enjoy the plot for what it is. You can't expect too much, but it's like, it's a nice <laughs> brainless read. I'm actually enjoying it right now. The next chapter, I'm 51% in. Um, Aya, chill, dude, dude. Uh, so yeah, funny story. Something just happened. They announced that they're having hike day, and suddenly Lisa asks, "What the hell do you guys do on hike day?" Like obviously, they go hiking. She's an idiot. 
There's a storm outside and there are crickets chirping in Lucifer's terrarium. Ignore all that. I was just dropped the biggest bombshell ever. Let's talk about Lisa. She has no backbone. He keeps telling her that he wants her but he can't be with her. And oh, and he broke up with his girlfriend. So that was cool until he went back together with her because the two of them had a fight. He keeps giving her mixed signals and she just takes it. She's like a sponge. She just keeps taking all the shit. Anyway, my current thoughts. Lucifer is doing something, probably going to sleep. I had a migraine all day and I am used to having migraines. The girl just learned the news that Asher is back with his ex and she said, of course he's back with Sonia. He must love her. Are you fucking kidding me? He just spent the past few days with you. Was spending time with you when even when he was supposed to be with her. So what makes you think that he must love her? She is so stupid, so insecure in herself. She, her, her confidence is non-existent, except when she's talking to him, which makes no sense. Like, if she's so insecure, why would she suddenly be all confident around him? I'm just roasting this book for no real reason, because it's quite enjoyable. <laughs> See, this is what happens when I turn on my analytical brain and... I should go back to being the happy, carefree, amazing Lisa I used to be before he came into my life. Oh wait, I was happy, carefree and amazing only when he was next to me. Girl, your self-worth is not tied to him. If he died right now, you would be, your worth, your value would not decrease. I don't understand why certain women only feel worthy when they have a partner. I don't understand. And she's young. And to be already giving all your worth to men, I feel bad for her. I really do. He really... Asher has been dragging her through the mud. He, One moment he tells her he's, he likes her and that she deserves better than him. And the next moment, she's being told that he's back with his ex. She's really suffering, isn't she? And then her cousin Katie said, he seemed so happy about breaking up with her. I don't know why he'd want to suddenly get back together. And then Lisa says, I guess they're meant to be. Thank you, God. I mean, Thunder, thank you for proving my point. This is how I feel. Exactly, I know, right? Yeah. I hope you can hear thunder, otherwise this is gonna look stupid. That's exactly how I feel. Because there's a very dramatic scene going on and it just started pouring outside. Lisa is right, this really feels like a Bollywood movie. And I, I like it, I actually do like it. <laughs> I need some water because my my head is gonna explode. <laughs> I missed a very, very big thunder. Sadly, I wanted to switch the camera and I accidentally turned it off and I missed it. Damn.
before I said things known then excuse me I'm talking so before I said they've known each other for two weeks uh, no they've known each other for a month and a half and something happened that I kind of predicted basically Riley the girl's only friend why why do I keep calling her the girl Riley who was Lisa's only friend after Katie Lisa's cousin and Nathan broke up Riley started hanging out with Nathan a lot and now Katie told Riley that if they wanted to date she wouldn't really mind and Katie is texting another guy so a lot of information oh and yeah one thing that hasn't changed I know Lisa still hung up on Asher yes I know what do you want me to say Jesus this guy is so dramatic This is exactly how I feel. His name may be Asher Prince, but he surely is no prince. Sorry, I know I'm all, all up in your face, but you're probably uncomfortable. There, better. Jesus, stop being so whiny. Oh, at least he's been learning Hindi, that's good. Congrats, Asher. At least now you can be a little more, not insightful, but a little more, come on Arden, what's the word? Nice to the girl. Actually taking an interest in her interests. Honestly, that's like a really cute thing though, so. Stop thinking about his feelings. Ask him if he has a girlfriend, dude. You're just in his house. I know. This guy agrees with me. I think he wants to kiss her, but she's like, no, Asher, you have a girlfriend, finally. And he says, I don't love her for God's sake. I got back with her to distract you. I wanted you to hate me and it worked. Um, but he still has her. I mean, he never said he broke up with her. Finally, go Lisa. She calls him out on his shit, finally. Oh. Oh, my head, my head, my head. Anyway, let's get down to business. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be like funny. Anyway, let's get down to business. <laughs> I had to redo that. <sighs> you guys, this book is a journey. I'm not liking how you are set up. Let me just fix that real quick. <sighs> okay, so I finished the book. I have some thoughts. I need my water before I, before we get down to business. Okay, Arden, are you finally done? Yes, I think I am. I just need some. Let's talk about Keep You Forever. This book perfectly captures what it's like being a teenager. You are so impulsive. You change your mind all the time. You cry all the time for no real reason or you're just so dramatic and hormonal, which this book perfectly captures. If you're a teenager and you're looking for that teen thing, this is the perfect book for you. 
when I was a teenager, this is what I was looking for as well. This is what I enjoy the most. The rating of this book, I have very mixed feelings. It feels very insta-lovey. I hope that I would enjoy it. It's just too... What's the word? I'm gonna look it up. I know it starts with a W. I just can't. <laughs> I just can't remember it right now. Let me check. I don't need to know about aircraft. Oh, look, the world. <laughs> I guess whimsical is the word. Yeah, I guess that's it. Like, this book is quite a roller coaster of emotions, especially when you're like a teenager, when you go all through all of these ups and downs. This book ha has a lot of those. It also feels like mm, there are a lot of plot points that don't really progress the plot or are just there to be dramatic, to bring the drama, to make something happen. If you're looking for a romance book, this book is very cute. It can be very cute at times and the drama just makes it interesting. So that's why I'm, I'm not sure how much I would rate it. I guess I would give it three stars. It is a very cute and entertaining book. It had me, it blew my mind every single chapter because I didn't know what plot twist I was gonna expect. There was always something happening and always some characters that I was frustrated with but I can definitely respect the author's decision and to keep the characters so whiny and to keep all of these things in because that's what being a teen is all about, I think. It's all these, it's not having life figured out and not having all of the answers and just trying to wing it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I was reading Keep You Forever. If you want to check this book out, I will be linking it down below so you can check it out. Please subscribe, click the notification bell to keep yourself notified, like the video and comment what you thought. And if you read this book, let me know because I would love to chat. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!